Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Valorant. You got the error. This version of Vanguard requires Windows 20H1 or later and may load function as expected with error code VAN9006 or 9004. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, right click on Valorant and choose option properties. Here, click on the compatibility tab and check mark the option run this program as an administrator. Next is check mark the option run this program in the compatibility mode and from the drop down list choose Windows 8, hit apply and OK button. Now go ahead and relaunch your Roet client and Valorant and check if you are still getting the error of this version of Vanguard requires Windows 20H1 or later. If this failed to work out, let's proceed with the next step. Head over to settings menu, choose Windows update and if any update is pending at your end, make sure you click on the option install to make your operating system up to date. To check your Windows version, right click on start menu and choose option run. Type here WinWar and hit the enter key. Here you will get the version of your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So make sure you have a version more than 20H1 or a version 2004. Now to update your Windows, head over to your browser and here is the Windows 10 update assistant link. The major issue of this error is in the Windows 10 only. So open the official website and here click on the option update now. Save the Windows 10 update assistant in your system. Once it is saved, you will go ahead and run it and this will provide you the latest update Windows. You can see I have currently installed Windows 11 so the updates are not available. At your end, you will see the updates for Windows 10 so make sure you install the latest update using this Windows 10 update assistant tool to fix out the issue of this version of Vanguard requires Windows 20 H1 or later. Now if this also failed to work out, let's proceed to the next step. Click on the start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. Type here a command bcd edit space slash set space hypervisor launch type space off and then hit the enter key. This will turn off the hypervisor platform. Once it is done, Open Windows Security. Here click on the option Device Security. Under the Core Isolation, click on Core Isolation Details. And if you have turned on the Memory Integrity, make sure you turn it off. Once you have done so, go ahead, restart your PC as it is already saying to restart your device. After restarting, go ahead, relaunch the game and this will fix out the issue of this version of when card requires Windows 20H1 or later and may not function as expected. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.